One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Coming to you today with a beginner lesson for the old classic murder ballad, Banks of the Ohio in the Key of G. This is definitely a classic old bluegrass song you're going to run into if you've been going to some jam sessions, and it's a great one to know. We're going to start by learning the absolute basic melody, note for note, down here on the guitar, and then we're going to look at kind of spicing up that basic melody. We're going to add some up and down picking, add some slides, add some hammer-ons, kind of some basic bluegrass ornaments. I'm going to break down both solos note for note and then show you a bunch of backup I would do for the song. So how to do easy strumming through the chords, how to do some easy bass walks, you know, some G runs, that kind of thing. We'll break that down as well. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, mikeheadingmusic.com, and grab the full lesson. You'll get access to watch all the videos, and you can download the tabs and the practice tracks. All right, here's Banks of the Ohio in the key of G. All right, let's start breaking down this basic melody for Banks of the Ohio in the key of G. So let me start by playing the first four measures, and then we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Do that a few times. One. One more time, real slow. So we're going to use a lot of down strokes with our pick and a lot of open strings in this basic version. So we're going to start with the pickup in measure one. We're going to hit the open fourth string on beat two, so count beat one as a rest. One, two, and then we're going to play three, four, two more quarter notes, open third string, and then second fret on the third string. We're just trying to get up to this open second string. That's our first melody note, so we're just walking up. So again, the probably the trickiest part about that is just not rushing through it. So one, two, three, four. One. And I'm using my second finger on that second fret of the third string. One. One more time. One. And then for measure two, we're going to hit this open second string, like I said. And make sure you get plenty of value out of this note because we need to let it ring out for five beats. So you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. So we're in four, four. So we're letting that note ring out for a whole measure plus one beat. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. One, one, two, three, four, one. And if you were having a ton of trouble figuring out the timing of that, what you could do is play the open second string five times, play them as quarter notes. One, two, three, four, one. And then you would feel or hear how long the timing is, and then you can take them out. One, two, three, four, one. And then measure three, we're going to move on. We're going to hit open third string, down to the fourth fret of the fourth string with your third finger, and then back to the open third string. And then second fret on the third string for a whole or for five beats again. So we're basically doing in this basic melody for the first little bit, we're doing three quarter notes followed by a note for five beats, and then three quarter notes followed by a note for five beats. So it's measures one and two and three and four have the same rhythm. Actually five and six, and we're gonna use this rhythm a bunch of times in this song. So here we go. One. And the other thing you can do is use this open second string to get your hand in position. 
and I'm using my second finger here because we're gonna we're gonna go up to this note of over here rather than using maybe my first finger. We're gonna need to go this way, so I'm I'm setting up that next phrase by using my second finger there. So let's do it one more time, and it's totally fine to count it out loud if you need to. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. I'll do it again without talking. And then let's move on, measure five, same timing. Let that ring out for five beats to the, the note one, or B one of measure five, and then play that note two more times, and then open second string. So same timing there, uh, two, three, four, and then we're gonna use the first fret, second string for five beats again. And that's why we're using our second finger, so we set that up. It's kind of like a D7 chord there that you're doing. So we have, and then keep that down. So that's what we're doing there. So not too hard. So one more time. And then let that ring out for five beats. And then on beat two of measure seven, reach your third finger or your pinky. I would use your third finger though up to the third fret of the second string, play that note twice, and then back to the first fret, and then open. So you have. And one thing I want you to practice there is when you reach from this first fret to the third fret, don't do that if you can. See how I'm lifting my first finger up? Keep that note down, it'll be your anchor, and we're going back to that note. So that's really important, don't lift your fingers up unless you need to. So you have. And then for measure eight, let this open second string out, ring out for six beats this time. So one note longer than we've, one quarter note longer than we've been doing previously. So you have two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so. And then on beats three and four of measure nine, we're gonna do open one, back up those notes. So we kind of go up the notes, back down, and then we're gonna go back up again. Open one, and up to the third fret for five beats. This is measure 10, one, two, three, four, one. Open second string. 2nd fret 3rd string, open 3rd string, so you walk down those notes, so you have, and then 1st fret 2nd string for, for 6 beats, 4, 1, 2, and then open 2 on the 3rd string, and then open 2nd string for 5 beats, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and then walk down the notes, first fret, second string, open second string, second fret, third string, open third string. That's our G note, we're in the key of G, so that's how you get back down. So you have, let's do nine through the end of 16. We have. hard left hand wise probably the trickiest part about the basic melody is just making sure you're giving those long notes enough time so let's play the whole basic melody a little faster here we go I'll do it with counting this time. One. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then one more.
one more time without talking. one time through the melody so the verse and the chorus have the same melody so now let's look at expanding that melody we're gonna add some slides add some more picking add some up and down picking kind of bluegrassify that solo a little bit let's break that down right now all right now that we got the basic version down let's look at adding some cross picking so we're gonna kind of change strings here a little bit more add some slides add some hammer ons but still try and play the melody in a bluegrass guitar style. So we're not gonna go completely off script here and play a totally improvised melody. Basically what we're gonna do is take that basic melody and just spice it up a little bit, okay? Let me play the first four measures of the bluegrass style solo, here we go. Do that a few times. faster and one time real slow okay so we're gonna start with the actually the exact same pickup so um, on beat two open four string open third string and then second fret so we're just walking up and then this time, instead of hitting the open second string, which is technically the melody, that's you could play that, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna find that note on a lower string, so the string right below it, the third string. If your guitar's in tune, it should be the fourth fret. And then we're gonna slide into that note. So instead of going, which is good practice, but this, it sounds more like a vocal, you're implying the, the melody or the vocal, it's mimics of vocals is what I'm trying to say when you slide into the note. The very vocal or mimics a vocal or a violin. Again, you can, you're sliding into the note instead of just hitting that note perfectly. So that's what we're gonna do there. And then I'm gonna put my third finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string. It's basically like this G chord right here. If you know your F chord, it's that chord up two frets, except I'm leaving off the, the bar chord on the top. So I'm just playing the, th the fifth fret four string, uh, fourth fret third string, and then I have the open second string, which is my melody note. So then I can do, now I've got three safe notes, so I can do what's called cross picking, where I'm gonna cross the strings with my pick. I'm gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm just kind of going down the strings, but I'm doing my down up picking. And I'm just sliding into that. So one, two, and three, and four, and. Let's skip the left hand for a second, do just the right hand, pretend they're all zero. So I would do a down stroke on the third string, and then that down up. My guess is if you have any trouble with this this bluegrass style lesson, it's gonna be your right hand, the picking. Actually what you're doing over here with your left hand is pretty basic. So you can always pretend they're all zeros for a second, just do the right hand. Add the slide in the, in the left hand back. The goal is you want to add your left hand without your right hand getting thrown off, and that's tricky.